Doodle Bud. Today we got this guy. This is the Lammy Dialogue 3. You've probably seen this, or maybe you haven't. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought, what the heck is that? That's a strange looking pen. And right away when I saw what everyone else sees when you see this pen, whoosh, that happened. I was like, schwing, that is pretty damn cool. So, um, you know, retractable nib, everyone kind of compares this. Um, oh, I forget the name altogether. I think it's the Pilot, the one you click. I can't remember the name of it. Let <laughs> me put a link or something when I remember it after the video. But um, Vanishing Point, I think, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, they're quite different. So I don't know. I don't know if it's a real fair comparison they're they're just completely different pens altogether but there's not many to compare so that's the default comparison i guess but um this i mean there's nowhere anything like that pen they're very very different in styling and weight and function and everything else too so um yeah it's its own very unique pen the styling's great lammy i find does a good job of coming out with some very interesting styling and good build qualities um and this is a great example of that there's really nothing else like it out there so full metal body it's an aluminum uh, anodized this is the flat black or matte black that I might call it uh, versus the, the glossy piano black there's a white there's a silver too I think that's all there is maybe there's a special color but I don't know of it um, two piece so you unscrew and that gets into the converter but it's also the whole nibs unit with it as well. So it's all in one piece. Um, it does slide off just like, say, on a Safari. So these nibs are interchangeable. I'll talk about that in a second. This one has a medium. If you can see it, we're getting some reflection. But medium, this is the 14K. You know, it's nothing super fancy as far as nib design, but looks nice with the gold stripe in there, right? Um, there's your converter. Just pops in there so you can do cartridges as well. Um, so the only only thing here, like, you know, there's no ink. Well, you got the ink window here, but it's, you know, in the pen. So if you want to know how much ink you have left, there's really no way of knowing. And then, of course, the thing that you just do all day long with this pen is just twisty-twisty. It's a, it's a half turn. So you can see the lines are on the back of the pen, so pretty quick. And it lines up. One thing you could do, you know, if you... Um, retract the nib and just do it real quick you go past and then it's unscrewing but there is you know if you're there's a stop you can feel it like it can't go any further when you come back there is a little if you can I don't know if the camera can pick it up but there's you turn it and then just dunk, it's a little click it just kind of locks in there but if you're really hard on it you know you can you can go right past that so that might be something that annoys you but you just don't go too hard on it also the clip retracts just a little bit, so not a ton, like it's a tiny little bit, like, I don't know if it's a full millimeter, I think it's less than a millimeter, but maybe a millimeter. Um, and it rests nicely in the hand, it doesn't bother me, some people say they don't like this, I don't know, if you wrote with your thumb or your finger on top of it somehow, whatever your style is, I could see, but um, for me, and I think for most people it fits in there, but one thing it might bug you, it is a heavy pen. It's full metal body, I don't mind heavy pens, but this thing is heavy. And so you got to, you know, again, if you're writing fairly upright, I could see you not liking that. It's also a little bit slick too. So, you know, if you got sweaty hands or you just finished a greasy sandwich and you're using this to write notes, this might, you might not like this. Um, there's no real texture to it. It is quite slick. So, but it really does stand out. I'll tell you that much. So anyhow, let's ink it up. And, uh, Figured I might as well use a Lamy ink since I got a lot of Lamy pen and I bought this bottle super cheap just because it was super cheap and I almost never use it. So this is the Lamy Vibrant Pink. I think it was like a short run ink and I got the, it's a huge bottle, they're 50 mil. I, don't know, I think it was $6. So that's kind of the only reason I got it because it was just so darn cheap. And I think it's got like some, if you can, you can probably see a little bit there. I think it's got some flakes in it, some specks. You'll see it's got a quite a, a shine to it. So I'll just fill it up here real quick. There we go. Give you a little, see what it looks like. All right. 
So it's decent for cleaning this. I know some pens, when you ink them, it can be a pain in the butt to clean them. Um, but this one's straightforward. Just give it a wipe. And you're done. Put it back into the body. It's got some nice knurling here. You know, so that's kind of nice. And then let's just open it up. Let's see. There we go. Right at you. Anyways, so this is the Lammy Dialog 3. This is a 14K. And this is a medium. And it you know, this is probably one of the smoothest nibs I have. And I say probably, I think it is. I'm just not 100% sure. Maybe I got something smoother, but it's quite wet as well. Um, this is a very, very smooth nib, like super smooth. I, I'm trying to think which one I have is smoother. Maybe like the Visconti Homo Sapien. Those are pretty, pretty good. The Palladium nibs. It's got a little bit of a bounce to it as well. You can get a little line variation. You know, it's just super smooth. I don't think reverse as well on this one is very good. Yeah, it's pretty scratchy. Again, you know, if you just got to do a super small spot, you're filling something in or just you screwed up and you just want to put a little arrow up here, you can write reverse and then go back to your regular writing, but you wouldn't do any serious writing with it upside down. But um, yeah, this is a very, very, that's not a good S. <laughs> That's better. Smooth. Super smooth. Even if you're putting firm pressure, it's smooth. If you have light pressure, if you're firm, it's just like, man, this, it's just that, you know, hot knife through butter kind of feeling, and it writes super well. The only thing for me is um, I probably should have gotten in and find my writing is terrible even with a good pen and so for me with a medium my writing really does not look good at all I have to write super large and that's just typically not my style so I wish I either got this either I'd say in a fine maybe extra fine I find Lammy's extra fine is a little thicker than most but um, either fine or extra fine would have been a little bit better for me but if I really wanted and it's not outrageously expensive I could uh, just buy another nib slip it on and keep this one if I want to write with a medium and put the other one on when I want it a little more fine as well. So that's kind of cool. You can do that with the pen. It's super easy to swap on and off. Um, all you essentially do is you take it out, but then you just put a piece of like scotch tape over top and across and you just pull it out and off comes the nip. It's just a slip fit. So that's super easy way to change it. But, um, you know, yeah, you can do that and you can go too far past it's pretty easy to do that with this pen so you just it's just a slow retract and then it lines up all nice but uh yeah i don't know um i find people either love it or they hate it i think it's usually just the feel because it is quite different and it's heavy so this is one of those ones you might i would suggest this is when you you try it out before you buy it um but it's a super sharp looking pen I'll tell you that much it's very unique it definitely stands out in your collection and if you're looking for a real nice smooth gold nib i definitely recommend it again you know it's not perfect uh, there is a little bit of a dry out issue with the nib every now and then this doesn't seal perfectly you know now there's some pens you can leave it inked for a month and then pop the cap off and it just writes right away no problem this one will you'll take a couple little goes to get it going but again, if you put a nice wet ink in it, I'm sure uh, it helps better than some other ones too. But anyhow, just thought I'd show it to you. Maybe you learned something. Leave a comment. If you got questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And again, I'm going to try to start doing some pictures of the pens and like putting it on Instagram. So if you want that and then leaving the links in the video, we'll see if I'm successful at that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Catch you later.